Sony announced the A6500. Here are the main differences to the A6300. It looks very similar to the A6300, but now it got an additional custom button at the top, so it now has three of them. Finally, this camera will have a touchscreen and you will be able to use it to adjust the focus, as we can already do it since years on the Canon cameras. I'm super happy about it because on the A6300 it isn't convenient at all to shift the focus point with the buttons. The full frame Sony's like A7S2 already have the in-body 5-axis image stabilization since a long time, but they left it out on the A6300. The A6500 will have it. Through that even lenses that don't have their own image stabilization are stabilized through the camera. There are still quite some more small changes and new features, but that's pretty much it of the really important things. In my opinion, most of those features should have already been implemented into the A6300. Sony definitely had the technologies ready, but they knew they still need to leave things out for the next camera. And now they still leave out the flip screen and the headphone connection. I guess those will be implemented into the A6700. The camera will be released beginning of December and it will cost $1,400 or 1,700 euro. The A6300 was $99 and $1,300 at release in March and is now 1,150 euro. Is it worth spending another 550 euro? Well, I don't expect uh, improvement in image quality. For me personally, the 5-axis stabilization doesn't matter too much since almost all my lenses have image stabilization anyway. The touch focus control is really cool, but I personally wouldn't spend another 550 euro for that. But let's wait till December when we can finally get our hands on it.